Hey, yo. Voli Alpha has a unique agreement with the Free Star Collective. We it makes a shitload of money. Spaceways, and Neon Security maintains the peace within Neon itself. The only exception is the Free Star Ranger outpost located in the city. But I've not met the Free Star properly. Cooperates with our department. <clears throat> I'm not going to be rude <laughs> to the guard. So I don't want to be shouted at. All right. Well, um, in we go. Up a platform. I always love that there's a planet on which has nothing but water. And then the cyberpunk look. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, this is fucking cool. Wow, okay. The mining league. Holy crap, this is amazing. Trade authorities, let's go stop off with them. Uh, it's very bare in here. Are you are you open? If it's too hot to handle, we can take it off your hands. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> yeah? Well then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Now that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make Sarah Sarah disliked me talking about stolen goods. How do you stay off the Free Star Rangers radar? Well, first of all, the outpost in Neon is hardly anything to be worried about. They have what, like four men covering the entire city? Come on! And even if one of them got, I don't know, suddenly <coughs> ambitious and put the heat on us, well, there are two. Are you gonna shoot the police? One way to leave an unattended cred stick bribery cool the other is to give sayoka a call sayoka anyway, it's business for us as usual okay um business what are you selling here i thought you were just wasting my time do you sell aurora you don't okay um what ammo does my new gun use did you fix take your mose Junk flush, that's the addiction thing, isn't it? Med packs, I'm good. Neon. Oh wait, that's the thing, not the drug. Alright, nothing exciting. Sell wise. Yeah, I think we're good for selling stuff. Oh yeah, I want to see what ammo that tombstone uses. 11mm. It's an interesting choice. Sell from Frontier. Ah, here we go. Misc. Is any of this useful? No, so far. Sell. Right, I'm, I'm, that's 68 mass on the ship. Goodbye. Aha. Notes on the ship. Of mass, at least. Books. I'm sure they're fine to get rid of. Cool. Aid on the ship. Yeah. I want to sell all apart from the ship parts. Cereal. Yep. Yep. Go away. Sandwiches go away. I have so many sandwiches on the ship. I don't need. Cool. Clothes on the ship. Nightwear. I'm okay. Uh, ah, the Mantis one. Do I get rid of it? It's a bit garbage now already, isn't it? Goodbye. Goodbye. I have two broken Constellation Space Helmets for some reason. I'll keep one. Uh, get rid of that. Older pistol, I want to keep that. That's cool. And then I have 507 in resources. That's fine. Water. Why am I carrying water? 
Yeah, go away. <laughs> right, cool. I've got my ship down to 583. I think the class is like 900. Spaghetti! Oh. oh wait, I want to buy ammo from you, sorry. 11 mil. Ammo, 11 millimeter. 262, I'll take your lot. Thank you. That should work nicely. Uh, <laughs> Find. Oh, it's weird. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence Ryujin. spread from their tower and out into the city. Do they have a tower somewhere? Don't know who they are. What is the mining league? The league of miners, I assume. Do I go in? This is going to find me a whole lot of quests. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open yeah. a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? Exactly. It's I a front. This place is still open. I give it a few more months. Before it's very shiny marketing materials. Ah, uh, don't be such a jerk. We should look around and see if there's something we can buy. Yeah, sure. You want to waste your credits? You go right to head. I'm intrigued. What's up? Uh, a lot of playing cards. This dude. Do you have a name? You good? No. Fancy minerals. Um. Some of your mining gear, but I'm gonna need a discount. I'm Ooh, sorry, discount. Friend, but prices are set in stone. I'm afraid I cannot provide any discounts. Oh come on, man. Where am I supposed to go mining on Volai Alpha? It's nothing but ocean. Look, I'll pay 50%, but no more. I will not deal too. Happy, you know? I don't exactly see any customers <laughs> clamoring at your doors. No, hey, I man. cannot do that. You have to pay what everyone else pays. It's a very fancy shop. Have your way. So glad you stopped by today. Hi, mate. Welcome. Welcome Why do you have this friend. shop? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Um, what do you sell here? Isn't it obvious, my friend? I sell mining supplies of all shapes and sizes, as well as many, many hard to find types of ore. Everything but why? I sell is carefully portioned, securely created, and ready to be delivered right into the cargo hold of your ship. What? Why are you here? The first time I'd laid eyes on this building, I felt the same way. <laughs> you see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. But Yet why? I am. <laughs> Only a few years later, pockets empty. Yeah. On the verge of closure. I can't it understand is why. A sad day. I could help the credits. That would be a blessing, my friend. But I wouldn't. Is it all putting posters. posters up? Um. Why aren't you getting much business? Listen to me, my. I hear what the people say on the street. They call me crazy for opening a mining business on an ocean. A little bit. Road. I was aiming so much higher, hoping to attract these space travelers passing through the Volai system. It's a very weird business case. <laughs> it was stupid to assume I could corner the market on mining supplies and raw materials without a solid foundation. And by God, I've paid the price. What are you selling? Certainly, my friend. Oh, he's like weapons. Is it cutters? It's cutters. Boring. Um, ammo. Boring. It's mining suits. Mining helmets. Nah. Ah. He's selling anything good. I don't know why I'm actually. Tan Am I searching for tantalum? That rings a bell. I'll I'll take it anyway. I know where to come when I need to do more stuff though. Come back to you. Um, can I help you save your shop? You do that for a total stranger? Yeah, I'll get a discount, you. right? Bless you. Sweet, sweet discount helping you out. An idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. It was fate. You could bring these flyers to some Ah, oh, it's flyers. <laughs> it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Mm. Tell me more about this plan. 
Millie and Leon keep to their own, and I believe this is why we fail. James Newell and his Merchant Alliance friends are on the right track, but all they do is spend their time complaining, never solving. We must unify, band together, and help each other out. Then, when one of us falls, the others can reach down and help him rise from the dust. I'd be surprised. Capitalism doesn't work that way. Refer people to each other's shops. Perhaps even promote sales together. It would benefit. Still, don't think all. people need to buy mining materials on this ocean planet, but fine. Wonderful, simply wonderful. You have no idea the way. I'll pass some leaflets out. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please. Let me know. Cool. Just drew Please five leaflets. Those flyers have been handed out. Yeah, yeah. I'll get around to it. Sometime this year. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Uh, Ebside. That's where I apparently live. Neon... What's that say? Neon Tactical. It's like a gun shop. Someone called Frank is talking to someone. How do I talk to Frank? Where is Frank? Restart Rangers. Let's go in Neon Tactical. Wow. I'm overhearing a conversation, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> sticks. Sticks. Are you Sticks? It's a very cool city. <laughs> Todd Frank was a drug addict, which I was I was referencing. Well done, you got it. <laughs> Remember, guys, Todd Frank. Don't do drugs. Oh, Sticks is a robot. That's a very cool robot. He's got an eye patch. This guy's cool. You selling anything cool? Yeah. You're a gun shop. Tell me something I don't know, sticks. Maybe it's a weapon weapon bench. The word myrtle refers to a blob of toothpaste placed on the bristles of a toothbrush. No, sticks, I didn't mean to literally tell me. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Gary, you played this. <sighs> what can I get you? Frank, you have a cool eye patch. Take a look <clears throat> around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Mm. Coming to your shop may have been a mistake, my friend. Maybe. That's up to you. The rules are rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our um. Complaints. Would recommend if you've got a million hours spare, Gara. Um. A robot can't handle complaints. Hey, he can handle millions of calculations per second. A few complaints would be child's play for him. Mm, true. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some You did paint him like a weird billboard. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Oh, someone did it. If I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Mm. How did you and Sticks end up together? I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. Now I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh Don't do drugs, kids. From the upper plateau. Talk to Frank, which Since is I this had guy. A legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside? It took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but he made a robot say, friend. Is it a sex robot? Sticks up and running. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I can find out who defaced him somehow. Do that. Huh? I I'm offering. I don't say I will. Maybe I misjudged you. Offering and doing probably isn't, you know, easy. But we'll see. Um. Why did we spray your robot with graffiti in the first place? It doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm not the most popular guy on the block. 
And that suits me fine. But this person took it too far, made it personal. I'm not about to let some delinquent hassle the only friend that I have. Aw, I, I could pay for paint removing. I appreciate the offer, but it isn't about the money. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> cool name. Probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. Speak or kill. Interesting. <laughs> uh, why is Warlord targeting you? Warlord's one of the disciples. One of <clears throat> Neon Street Gangs that claims it owns Ebside. A few years back, the gang tried to break in here and rob my place, but Styx put one of them down and sent another to Reliant on a stretcher. He and Rip. his buddies have been harassing me ever since, mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries. Warlord still swears he'll get even with me. And he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable sticks and spray So if I paint. kill if this warlord guy, does that affect my being an undercover pirate quest line? Okay. Um, can I ask you about your eye? It's a very sensitive question. <laughs> it's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Cold ah. War. I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. Ooh. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. Damn. All right, what are you selling? <laughs> Feel like bringing the pain, huh? What are you selling? Boom, boom. Explosive shotgun. 20 magazine shotgun. Interesting. Uh, b -b 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 mag shot pistol. Did I have one of those? Maybe I did. Mm, 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 the buzz cut. What is that? That's a Grendel. It's just rapid. Armor pacing rounds. High velocity. Okay. Tombstone. Okay, you're not selling anything exciting. Alright, fine. Nothing exciting. So yeah, the, the guy from the mining shop wants to do a deal with you. Don't want it. Take it somewhere else. Is there a persuade? No? Alright, fine. You ever get nightmare sticks about the war? I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I get what you're saying. You just want to forget, but so there's a wall there that's opened a gun shop. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Can I talk sticks? Um, Rennick. Is that my dude? Who's Rennick? Oh, Frank Rennick. <laughs> you say who's Rennick? I know it's Frank. See, so who, who painted you? I'm sorry. Your inquiry is invalid. Neon right. tech for paint and home decor. Please. Goodbye. Sticks. How's this month look? Alright, cool. Um What's this? Ah, it's the run into some trouble. Word to the wise. That's a big corporation, isn't it? No oh, apartments. Can I go in? Who lives here? There's one inaccessible. Yeah, the lift has one floor, it seems, and that's nothing of interest right now. But I'm sure the mission will lead me there at some point. Why else would it be like that? Oh, they don't want to go to the Free Star Rangers. Yeah, why not? I like your outfit. <laughs> yes. Who are you? No one? Let's go meet Freestyle Star Rangers. This entire stream is just going to be me wandering around Neon and saying hi to everyone. Spoilers. Hello. Don't expect too much help from local security. Best to just look out for yourself. 
If you're here to report a crime, take it to local security. They handle that stuff. So what do you guys do? Well, yeah, why are you here? Mostly to keep an eye on the smuggling trade. Black market goods flow through Neon so, like a river. Aurora. Can't stop it, but I can at least keep an eye out in case it's something real serious. Okay, yeah, I'm just being nosy. Yeah, well, it's a public space. Word of advice. Enjoy the city, but know your limits. Trouble's waiting around every corner, and the law won't protect you the way it does in other places. Neil Street Rat, I know about that. Guess I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Then. I'm from here, kind of. something else you need? Um, ooh. Does having a badge make you a target? Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive. Maybe you've heard of her? Name's Alexis Price. I it's have a not. fragile piece here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Okay, we, did you mean to be Either here? Not. Yeah, You're a son of someone, so I guess. My mother's an executive with Ryujin, so I grew up here. I volunteered for this post as much to keep the other rangers out of trouble as any other reason. If some hotshot rookie took this job and started flashing the badge everywhere, it wouldn't end well. All right, cool. Good Later. chat. Nothing too exciting. Interesting music choice. A guitar. Oh, I'm playing Red, Red Dead Redemption. Computer? No. Nice bed. How do I get a bed like this? Just being nosy, mate. Oh, what is it here? No call cool back. Oh, you got a gym. Oh, is that is that a magazine? Permanently reload draw Laredo weapons five percent faster. Mine now. I don't know if I have any of them. I don't have to see weapon manufacturer. Hey, am I naked? Why am I naked? <laughs> Hang on, I have no clothes. Am I literally running around? I'm running around in the nude! Oh, I'm definitely getting arrested. Where do I buy clothes? <laughs> oh, indecent exposure live on Twitch. Ban me. Right, put some clothes on. Where do I find clothes? No one warned me I was naked. Uh, Newell's Good Shop. Do you sell clothes? Do you sell food clothes? Aurora is It's a poison. It needs to be taken off the streets. Why is it so shiny? James, please. It's not just the Aurora. It's Administrator Bayview. As long as he's in charge, the city will just get worse and worse. I've had enough, Rosa. Seagard's gone too far this time. Oh no, this again? James, you have to let it go. Let it go? Why should I? Every time he pays NSEC, he enables them, Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous! It's the way things are, James. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> All right. I just wish things would change in the city. We're fully stocked on supplies today. Have a okay. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Maybe. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Seagart's lousy selection every Who's time. Who's Is that Frank? Um, Seagart. What's that? Seagart's Outfitters. Oh come on. You don't. Have I've to not been there. No. I've been to his poor excuse <laughs> for a store off of Bayou Plaza. I've not. Um. Bit of competition going on? Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing. But Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Hmm. What are the merchant meetings? 
A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. How to keep your place safe? Standing up for the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Maybe he doesn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon Security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Fighting Neon Security. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around. Okay. Uh, I want to buy something there. Sure. Have a look. Do you have any clothes? <laughs> Uh, that's all about cats, so ammo, buy 11 mil. I'm gonna buy more 11 mil because I need that. Maybe. Uh, spacesuits, fine. Packs. Balance, basic. Nah. Here we go. Neon City formal wear. Corpo suit. Fishwork mat. Oh god. <laughs> um, <clears throat> leather wear. What is that? What is that? Neon dancer outfit. Yes. Mine now. <laughs> um Sure. Let me go put that on. Watch your back out there. So, naked. Not feeling the naked. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I look a treat. <laughs> Glorious. 10 out of 10. What is this? Why does it wiggle when I move? Oh, it wiggles when I move. I'm a tentacle man. I don't want to be a tentacle man. Take it off. <laughs> That's freaking me out. Give me, give me the leatherware. That's better. Yeah, I'll do. Anyway, James, now I bought some clothes from you. You like making a purchase today? Um, is Neon Security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Okay. Um... You and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost... Uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend. Started working on... This the alien lines. fishing corporation or something. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing. And that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She what is that? <laughs> but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own. Is Xenofresh still around? I want to go visit. Ever since. Oh. Uh, I can talk to Seacart if you want. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Thank you, that'd be nice. Yes, of course. <laughs> On behalf of Rosa and I, thank you. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. It's fine, I can... I can persuade. Uh, have you tried speaking to him yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions yep. of talking Break to his knees. Anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. Mm, I'm sure your wife might have something to say about that. Uh, I've got this flyer from yeah, the mi mineral guy. Huh. Not a bad idea. One down. Five to go. Four to go. Thanks for bringing this to me. And then what do you sell do other than clothes? A Aid. Mm, nothing amazing. 
Oh, here we go. Aid. Adhesive. I'll take that. It's always always handy. Polymers are also pretty handy too. Uh, did you pick? Mine now. Hey, up, Stitchy. How are you doing? Did I just see a tweet from you saying you've got 100,000 views on TikTok? Internet fame has been achieved. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Cool. Right. Um, Rosa. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Your husband's a bit mental. <laughs> uh, oh, you sound awfully tired. Oh my, do I? <laughs> That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. Let's have a nap. You excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at Go the nap. alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. Here we go, the real story. Um, who is this guy? He runs Sieghart's Outfitters. It's right outside the spaceport terminal. I suppose you could say he's our only real competition. If you ask me, he isn't such a terrible person. Ooh. Please don't tell Going Dick behind her husband's that. back. Interesting. Um, so you don't think he's doing anything wrong? I don't believe he is. No. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James. <laughs> Did she, have you and Wobbly got any plans for the weekend? Are you guys heading to play Expo? Starfield's brilliant. I'm stupidly addicted to it. Um, I keep finding new planets with massive plot lines on to go explore, and it never ends. <laughs> uh, I was meant to be doing a pirate quest, and I got completely sidetracked. So, uh, yeah, it's Plexburg this weekend. I think I'm going Sunday, if you're in the area. <laughs> um, ooh, does James know you don't agree with his crusade? I have no idea. Anytime the subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. Mm. Yeah, I told James I'd look into it, so... Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and... I'm doing it for the XP, so... It yeah. so lovely to see my James happy again. I picked up eight little mini side quests on this planet time, alone. You know. Well, it's, it's one now city. I see his worry on his face. I suppose you can speak <clears> with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store... Ah, the sales pitch. Do? <laughs> uh, do you sell differently? Okay, here you are. To your husband? Mmm, no, it looks pretty similar. Pizza! Mmm, lovely. Thank you for stopping by. You are welcome. Thank you for selling me some clothes. Could possibly want. Booze! Who's these guys? You anyone? No? What are you guarding? Yeah, right. Hysterical yeah, it kind of snuck up on me to be fair. But it's that time of year again. Make a trip over to the Norbrecht Castle. The best castle in the country. <laughs> booze. I found a booze shop. Amazing. Booze in a can. A carton, sorry. Wine in a carton. It's like a fun Capri Sun. He finally ran out of credits. No wonder you're stocking up. I guess I've been lucky. My parents and I have always been close. Yes. Okay. Are we wearing the same outfit? Oh no, we're wearing the same outfit. What are we going? Ooh, research lab. How about this? Right, weaponry. What do I need? Adhesive. Yay! I can now do optics and laser mods free. Bosh. <laughs> when is it? <laughs> it's this Sunday. Well, both days. Tantalum. Muzzle mods 2. Nice. Muzzle mods free. Can I do that? Oh, I need special projects. Oh. It's not that big of a deal. And then they're blocked. Only weapon engine free. Okay. Sweet. 
There's discussions going on behind the scenes. I wasn't listening. Hello, booze man. I'd like. Hey, yo.